Recording with Black Lines was, uh, man, it was an experience. Uh, and I had really had a lot of fun. Um, but it was nerve-wracking. I mean, it was the first band Phantom Records has ever recorded with. And, you know, we don't have high-tech recording equipment. Um, we don't have... We, we have a, a soundboard that can hook up like eight eight microphones and uh, we, their software is garage man and uh, coming into this you know we said look you know local bands go to recording studios that cost you know thousands of dollars and then you know th their money's never compensated you know hey you know people buy the album but you know are they paying 35 bucks for it no they're paying like five bucks so they never make up that cash back so the Phantom Records, when I was thinking of Phantom Records, I thought, let's give local bands an affordable recording experience. I know that's where I'll go. I don't got a choice again. When Black Lines came in the studio that day, um, I was very nervous. I think we all were nervous. And one of the reasons why was because they came from hours away. They drove from hours away, and we knew that today may be our last chance to record, and it was. We spent eight hours straight, I think it was. I remember closing the door and saying goodbye, and I looked at my watch, and it was like eight hours had gone by. So, that was pretty impressive. One of the most uh, memorable moments, I think, for any uh, recording um, guy or producer is is when the band is hearing their music and they're truly just taken back by the sound that they're hearing. And I remember we were recording a song that they they called New Indie, and there was one part I think right before the guitar solo or something, but the guitar solo hadn't even been added in. But, you know, they went, they, they just were, oh my god, this sounds awesome. And at that point, you know, I looked at Eli and went, wow. This is what we've been waiting for, for years. I mean, our dream is just to make one band, even if we had made one band proud of their work uh, by recording, uh, we had succeeded in doing our job. And uh, I have to say, this was a good moment. Were there any problems? Yeah, there were. Whenever you're trying to do uh, four songs in one day, there are always problems. But fortunately, there wasn't a lot of problems. And but one of the problems was actually I noticed in post was with the secondary vocals and what we did it was getting late it was around like 11 o'clock or something and we were running out of gas we're like yo let's turn off these fluorescent lights and try to put on some black lights let's soften the mood a little bit so we can you know de-stress and we've been working hard we got to get these vocals done let's distress well it turns out the black light let out this very high pitch frequency noise and it's very hard to explain the closest thing I can compare it to do is when you turn on an old tube TV and you hear that slight sound a lot of people can't hear it but I can and I was sitting there saying hmm, will it interrupt the recording and when we listened back I said well, I don't hear it, but the next day I did. And the reason why I didn't hear it the first time was because I was playing the recording back with the black light on. down the road well I think you know 
black lines gave us a lot of confidence. Now, to wrap up the whole entire project, um, you know, you've seen photos, you've seen videos, you've, you heard my story, um, but to wrap it all up, uh, this album took seven and a half straight hours of recording. We recorded drums, bass, guitar, vocals, and double vocals. It also took another additional weeks for the band to record their vocals for the second time in order to perfect the way it, com it comes out in the recording. On top of that, we have bought CDs, we have printed out art for them, we have CD cases, we have set up a concert, we have invited people to it, and we'd like to also thank the band for their great job. We had little to do with promoting the event other than making it on our page. We'd like to thank the band for doing a lot of work. Pretty sure this event has the most people responded to it. Uh, so far and that that is really crucial and we would like to thank the man for that we think they did a great job promoting they picked an awesome venue I've played there numerous times with uh, my old punk band the manager there Jen is awesome I think the the sound is great and I just cannot wait to uh, see this concert release this album and watch Black Lines play this is Michael Bishop I'm with Phantom Records and this is the promo for the Black Lines EP release. See you at the show. Hey, uh, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> uh, we used to be set up in the garage with uh, just a hi-hat and a snake.